Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I forgot to say my name. Hi guys, it's Louise. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my quarantine look because I haven't done makeup in a while and I decided I'm gonna create a video today. So if you wanna see me create this look, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna start by applying moisturizer. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And then I'm gonna apply the Magic Eye Rescue from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Then I'm gonna moisturize my lips using the Dr. Pow Pow. I adhere in silicone primer. And then, before I apply the foundation, I'm gonna apply highlighter first. And this highlighter is from Cover Effects. Cover Effects um, Custom Enhancer Drops, and the shade is Rose Gold. I'm gonna use a matte foundation today, so. I want the lit from lit from within look. So I'm applying the high points of my face. It looks a bit intense right now, but it's gonna be okay. Lasting Perfection Matte Foundation from the brand The Collection and my shade is number 13. So I'm having a bit of a breakout in there and I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna apply the foundation first and then I'm gonna spot correct that breakout. Sometimes since I work, we don't really go out that much except when we're doing our groceries, but that's just once a week. So I don't really apply makeup. Hopefully, so good. And then I'm gonna um, apply concealer on the areas where I had. Spots. And I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in number 344. It's usually on the neck. I don't have much on my face anymore. And then I'm gonna apply my highlighting concealer and I'm gonna use the same concealer from L'Oreal Infallible more than a concealer in number 328. And I'm just gonna go back to the other shade, the darker shade, and I'm just gonna apply here and here. And then I'm gonna use um, this concealer from the collection. It's called Lasting Perfection Concealer, but in the shade Medium Caramel. So I'm gonna use that as my contour. Then I'm gonna go here. 
And then I'm going to blend the contour first and leave the highlighter. Because I want it to be a bit more tacky and stick more before I blend it up. And then I'm blending the contour downwards, not upwards. So it's in my jawline. Because if I blend it up, it will look like a beard. So I make sure that I blend it just on my jawline and to my chin. My brush first and blend this. For whatever reason, I just like applying concealer on my at the ends of my lips, just so I don't know, it makes it look a bit more polished, a bit more clean, a bit more happy because it's going up. I'm just gonna quickly spray my beauty blender with this Argan 5 oil blend that I got from TK Maxx for four pounds and it's um, a facial mist and I really like it. And then I'm going to blend the concealer. Just, I'm just dabbing lightly. I'm not dragging the product. I'm going to ruin all the work that I've done. Or not really. There's not really a lot of work. But I left it there to dry a bit. So when I blend it, it's a bit more tacky and sticky and it will not glide and it will give the maximum coverage that this concealer could give. And then I'm going to use a small blending brush to blend the nose because this concealer dries quick. I'm gonna just go back with my with the brush that I used for contouring just to go back to those areas where it was erased by the concealer this is from Sunny's Face Airblush in Peach and I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for contouring and then I'm gonna pat the product in not drag but pat and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my under eye with the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Air Blush Airbrush Flawless Finish in Medium 2. Just very lightly, I don't want to set the perimeters of my face yet. Well, perimeters. I'm gonna go back to this Cover FX highlighter so it blends it automatically. And then on my brow bone, on the other side, and then my nose line. 
few bits bow, a little bit of the chin. Before I go with the eyes, I finish the whole face. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna set the contour with the bronzer using this Tom Ford The Ultimate Bronzer in Gold Dust. But I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush. And then I'm just gonna cut again. The Saharan Blush Volume 2. And then I think I'm gonna use this one just a bit. upwards even until here gives you a lifted effect I miss using this trophy wife from Fenty Beauty and it's this let's see maybe we can use this just a tiny bit yeah Use this one since we moved here. Which is here. Okay, so I'll leave that for now. So since this is a video about quarantine, it inspired me to do a fighting the blues quarantine look. So I'm gonna use blues. <laughs> and I'm gonna I haven't used this, I bought this like months ago from Primark. It's, um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but it's a collaboration between Primark and Farina. Okay. It's my first time to use this eyeshadow. I like the color of it, and that's why I bought it. And I think it dries quick because I swatched it well ago. And don't worry that it's not the same shape because I'm still gonna blend it and it's just gonna act like a primer. So enhance the color. Then I'm gonna apply my Jeffree Star Breaker eyeshadow. I really like this palette just because it has loads of different colors. I'm gonna use the shade cute. It's like a greenish, bluish teal is the color I think is the right color for this. I like the color. So I'm gonna use the shade Brain Freeze. apply no fallout as you can see and then at the bottom of my lashes I'm gonna use gumdrop it's purple lavender pastel color as well
And these are all matte colors. It's now spring and I can't wait for summer. And I can't wait for this pandemic to be over, honestly. For that pop of color, I'm going to use a bright orange. The shade is called Orange Juice. And to highlight this brow bone, I'm going to use the shade Jaw Breaker. Go connect it to my highlighter, my trunk one. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. Then I'm just gonna apply this very tiny, almost finished Kiko Milano on my waterline. I'm gonna apply this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner. This Becker's and Sex mascara from Too Faced. So the lashes are not that scandalous because I still want to see the colors, the color in my eyes. I took this out just so maybe I. I don't like it. Just remove it. What you look I'm gonna use this goof 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 proof brow pencil from Benefit. I don't know yet if I'm gonna have it really done here. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. I'm just gonna go. Strokes in the hand. strokes. And then leave it. And then I'm gonna use this mascara from the collection it's a clear mascara that I apply in my brows so I'm gonna stay up and then we're just gonna powder on my forehead because it's massive and it's shiny Sunnies and nudies and girl crush. And then I'm gonna apply girl crush. And 
then to finish off, I'm gonna spray my facial mist. And we're done so thank you for watching guys and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and see you next time bye